Hi guys and welcome back to 76. So Steel Dawn has arrived or arrived a few days ago and I thought it was time we jumped on and took a look. So as soon as I jumped into the game, because I guess I was farming West Tech last time I was on, God knows how long ago that was, where we got that message, welcome to the neighborhood, listen to the Brotherhood uh, message. So trying to kind of figure out how my pit boy works again. It's been this long. But I found the um the broadcast and I hit play. However, there's no message. I got nothing whatsoever. Uh but the quest did proceed, so the next um step in the quest was to uh head to Fort Atlas and I thought, right, let's do that. So at least in the future, once this uh DLC has kinda come and gone, and someone's wondering how to start it. Um, you just got to check for that radio message in your pit boy also worth noting that this is a minimum level 20 uh, DLC So you must be at least level 20 to kind of get this on the road as soon as I arrived Forging trust was a, a quest that triggered so it looks like we're done with welcome to the neighborhood for the most part um, And forging trust begins so to begin forging trust, we're just going to have a quick conversation with that dude over there in a sec. But got to say, the place is looking pretty good, right? And I've, I've been waiting for this for a while. The Brotherhood was, has returned, which means story. I love me some story. That's why I like Fallout so much. And man, this game has been lacking story. So we got to talk to this dude. Now, while these uh, cutscenes play out... Oh, of course, you see, it wouldn't be Fallout 76 unless you were disconnected from the server when you were doing something. So this is um, this is how things have started out for me, but it's fine. We just need to reconnect back in Atlas and continue along. I only fear that this will um, happen to someone mid-quest and they won't be able to complete it or something like that because the NPC will be convinced they've already had a conversation that they haven't had. I don't know. Um, just something I worry about. But anyway, we've reconnected. Let's have a conversation. They're working for me. Hey, good to see you again. Welcome to Fort Atlas. Brotherhood needs good recruits like me. Uh, looking to sign up? Or just curious? Well, either way, I guess it's not me you want to talk to. Most of the fort's off limits to civilians, but if you're interested, Knight Shin's in charge of the new recruits. He's very serious about protocol and security, so you'll have to speak to him first if you want to get anywhere. So it seems we need to go and find ourselves a knight, Shin, um, who's obsessed with security. And if we want to get... Uh, hello? Nope. Not, not really in the mood for a chat. But if we want to get anywhere, we need to have a chat with knight, Shin, who's inside. I have real duties to attend to. The outer perimeter is still unsecured, the provisions aren't properly stowed, and we're awash in hopefuls. I have no time to be babysitting civilians. Your duties are what I say they are, Knight. Your objections are noted, but this is a direct order from your commanding officer. Help us put on a good face for the local people. We've just moved into their backyard. They're nervous. Show them we mean no harm. If you insist, Paladin, if there's nothing further, I'll have the completed report on your desk shortly. I expect nothing less from you. As you were, Shin. Paladin? Well, he seems absolutely delightful. Not There's Sean here. Um, so yeah, we're, I, I see the red laser grid there, so we're going to have to probably rank up with the Brotherhood to get past that. Alright, let's see what Shin has to say. If you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, get in line. I don't have time for you right now. Fort Atlas is in good hands. Nightshin's trained as Did he? Initia Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance, not acting as my secretary. Hmm. Initia Dorsey is too trusting, but I can't fault his commitment. Perhaps he sees something in you worth our interest. Are you another aspirant to our order? If we accept you as an initiate, and that is far from certain, you would be pledging yourself to our order and our cause. Our order exists to locate, secure, and protect dangerous technologies. You 
Humanity cannot be trusted with the means to destroy itself. We will not allow another apocalypse. If you mean that, then you are right. But if that's sarcasm, I recommend you stow it. Immediately. Normally, I might stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy. But, if you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. There's something you could do for me that would help the Order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas, asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid, or want something, or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. There's too much left to do to secure this facility. If you're really interested in helping, save my time. Interview the petitioners, find out what they want, and report back to me. Order, learning, protection, I have everything I need here. To be in the Brotherhood is an honor, and a life of service. If that's truly something you want, start here. Perform this duty well, and we can talk about your future. No. The chain that binds dictates a strict hierarchy of command. And, as the only knight present, the initiates are directly under me. Unless I say so, your contact with the Brotherhood stops here. Do this right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly, and we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. As I suspected, Knight Shin is an absolute charmer. Now, he wants me to go and speak to four people. There's a lot of dialogue here. It's very dialogue heavy. So, I'm going to stop talking for a bit. You better have something useful to say to me. No meat approved. It's perfectly preserved pie with every dinner. I just told you who I am. I already told them that when I got here. Nobody's listening in this place. I came here so that they can make things right. And they won't even listen to me. Oh, can't even come to me himself? What, he needs to requisition some more armor polish? All right, all right, keep it cool, Sean. So, what's he gotta say to me? The problem is that a couple of these Brotherhood clowns showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Now I'm a peaceful man. I really am. I sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. Never understood the Raiders. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, oh, I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else maybe, I go to Crater and start doing things their way. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys. Hey, uh, listen, uh, thanks. I just needed someone to listen and take me seriously. I hope you can convince them. Military grade hardware, more common amongst the ones from California. Hmm. Better be worth it. <laughs> hey! Yeah, you. Who do I need to talk to around here? You know, about the guns? <laughs> you don't look like one of these brotherhood yahoos. Name's Tally Lang. What's your deal? I just told you, dummy. Tally Lang. Just uh, another chick trying to make it in the wasteland. You know? I should be getting uh, who, me? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Cool as a cryo grenade, me. Definitely. Shin? He the scary guy with the stick up his butt? All right, shoot. Make it quick. Oh, I'm 
I'm just a poor country girl, you know? Parents died ages ago, so it's just me and a few friends trying to make our way in the world. It's pretty scary out there. Just a bunch of orphans helping each other out. We're practically just kids. Had to grow up on our own. We'd sure feel a lot safer with some of those high-tech guns these Brotherhood have to scare off all the maniacs out there. Getting back to the farm. Soon. Yeah, that's right. Big shiny guns. Now, all the talk in the area is about these Brotherhood folks with their high tech toys, and I thought, Tally, you gotta get some of that. For self defense, of course. Uh, just so me and, and some of my poor, innocent friends can protect ourselves from all the nasty folks out there. Okay, I get it. The promises backfire all the time. Well, go get him, Tiger. Avalanche's future will be decided. Speak? Yes. Something I can help you with? I am waiting to speak with a Brotherhood representative. I have no interest in small talk with strangers. Pardon my manners. I am out of practice. Too much time alone. Still, unless this is important, I would prefer to be left alone. The severe gentleman in the power armor, yes? Dr. Edgar Blackburn at your service. And what did Night Shin want to know? I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. As a doctor and a scientist, this was of great interest. My research is always in need of equipment and materials rather difficult to obtain by scavenging and bartering. I came to see if an arrangement could be made, but from what I can see of their operations, they are as yet still in too much disarray. Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would hypothesize that their needs likely outweigh my own. Thank you. Be well. Well, now look at you. You with these steel brother fellas? I've been waiting a good spell to talk to them. Farming, such as it is. Got a patch ain't barely more than scald. <laughs> but it's mine, and I manage. Well, it's about time. I'd like to die of old age waiting on them. Name's Art Knapp. So, what's this night fella sent you for? Hey, hey, here comes trouble. A fair trade's what I want. I've heard stories about these steel types back in the day. They was going around taking things from folks. For the cause, they said. Yeah, like that don't make them raid us too. Well, I ain't got much, and I already got to worry about raiders. So, I reckon it's better to make a deal up front. My farm don't produce much, but I got some extra, and I expect they'll have a use for it. In return, I want these steal boys and girls to keep raiders away from my farm. Heard a lot of noise they was on our side. So, seems fair. You looking at something? Fair enough. Can't expect more than that. Thank you. You take care too. So with all that dialogue done and dusted, Forging Trust updates and we now need to report to Night Shin again. I have no intention of doing that just yet. It's my first time in here, so naturally, I want a little look around. So there's a little tunnel down there. I've kind of made a mental note to do that at some point. Can't open this door, but there is a door beyond it. Ugh, oh, I really don't want to talk to this guy. But we shall. We'll yep. Have you finished the task I gave you? Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high-level overview. Local recruits of your help, if I'm referring. Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. That sounds like something Paladin Romani would say. But what he believes is of no concern of ours. Our people did not rob this man. We are not involved and it should remain that way. 
Give me your next report. The Brotherhood is not a charity, and our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests, unless the doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively, and under our supervision, he will get nothing. That shows commendable discipline. Scribe Valdez may have interest if he returns, but if so, he is her problem. That appears to resolve the matter on our end. Next report. No, we are not arms dealers. New recruits, night shoes training, weapons. That aligns with my observation of her when she arrived. Your judgment may be better than I expected. Moving on. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods to trade in payment. That's irrelevant. The Brotherhood cannot simply be hired out to every farmer and homesteader. We have our own concerns. I believe that accounts for everyone. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself useful for the Brotherhood. You need to lose those soft civilian instincts but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment. I grant you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. What I am going to do is make the recommendations I see fit in my report to Paladin Romani. As a commanding officer, the final decisions will be hers. And your concern in the matter ends here. When do I get to go out and prove my work? Let me complete my report. If I do not have other pressing duties, then I will consent to your questions. Be vigilant, outsider. All right, so with that out of the way, the quest will push on. You now need to activate the hand scanner over here to complete the quest. When the quest completes, you get... There is a nice drop here, actually. There's a plan for a Brotherhood of Steel, like, table, round table type thing. It's very nice. And, of course, then we'll push on, because this is a chain quest. So we're going to push on to the next quest, which will be up in the top right-hand side of the screen now. That will be Mother of Invention. Hopefully there's a bit more to this one. Anyway, hopefully you found the video some bit useful or enjoyable. If you liked the video, please do hit the like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.